The Sioux Falls School District saw an increase in teacher turnover this summer. And that is something that many businesses and industries are facing across the country during what's being called the Great Resignation of 2021. But an increase in out-of-state teachers relocating to Sioux Falls is helping to fill that gap. What drew one California couple to town in tonight's Eye on Kettle Land? She's always had a talent for making things fun. Recess went well. It's one way Brandy Hernandez knew she was meant to be a teacher. One of those things that you just have that feeling that that's something you're supposed to be doing. Water, water! Her husband Chris's journey to the classroom started on the football field. Why don't you come aboard? We need a, we need a receiver coach. I decided to sub. Then I decided, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to teach. I want to coach. All right, all right, hands down. Now he's in his first year teaching civics and economics in Hartford while head coaching the West Central football team. Hi, this is Dr. Hernandez. I'm the assistant principal over at Hayward. Brandy is a new administrator in the Sioux Falls School District. To help them make really good choices. Combined, they come to the Sioux Falls area with 25 years of teaching experience. I grew up in Diamond Bar, California and lived there my whole life. Until this July, they were living in Orange County, California, just 20 miles from Disneyland and 20 minutes from the ocean. I do miss, miss Disneyland and Legoland. But there are plenty of things their eight-year-old son Emmett does not miss about his home state. No traffic. <laughs> when my mom and dad would take me to would take me to Disneyland Legoland traffic everywhere I was driving from Orange County to Riverside County so the last three years while I was there uh, that was a hour drive each way so two hours in the car and that was just really difficult because the boys were young it's one of the big reasons the Hernandez family set out to find a different way of life. I call driving in, in South Dakota therapeutic, often joke about that with family. After being in the concrete jungle, in the streets, you know, cement freeways with cement walls on both sides. Oh, nice throw, buddy. Now they have a big change in scenery. It does take 15 minutes to get everywhere. I just feel like I have more time. I'm working super hard as, as a head coach, but then I get to come home and play catch with my son. One. It's the picture-perfect family life Brandy dreamed of during a cross-country trip after college. And I drove through the Black Hills and I drove across the state and I just said a little prayer. Man, God, if I ever get a chance to somehow live in this, this is like God's country. I would love it. But both had started their careers in their home state, close to family. And as day-to-day -day life got busy, they became more established in California, until COVID-19. It's always something that we talked about. It was always later down the road. Mm -hmm. And and then when, when during the pandemic, we just had time to talk about it, do the logistics. But with both of them being teachers, some of the logistics involved with moving to South Dakota were hard to handle. I took a pay cut, almost 50%. California ranks as one of the top states for teacher pay, while South Dakota is currently in 50th place. But like a member of the South Dakota Teacher Compensation Review Board recently argued, the Hernandez family decided they could live with a lighter paycheck thanks to the big difference in housing. We had a lot of equity in our house that we sold, and it put us in a position where we didn't have to make a certain amount of money to pay the mortgage. With the proceeds of their home sale in California, they were able to pay cash for two Sioux Falls properties. Without a mortgage that's super high, this is actually going to help us save money. <laughs> so we're going to save money in the long we'll run. actually be in a better position. Yeah, we'll be in a better position. As far as their jobs, both Chris and Brandy say everything they love about teaching they've been able to find in South Dakota. Well, kids are kids no matter where you go. Now the biggest difference is instead of teaching in a school with more than 3,700 kids. That's something that you've heard. It's something that's influenced us. Chris is now now teaching in a town with a smaller population. I see them in the hallways and I know them and you know when, I, when we do have graduation I'm gonna know every single student. And while their current waterfront view is not quite as big as the ocean. Lake's better than the ocean because there are more because there are a little more fish in the lake. But so far everything about their move to the Midwest has been parent and kid approved. Every day I'm just talking about snow because we never got snow in California and I just want to make a snowman. Now it's just waiting to see how they'll make it through the winter. My football players, they're just like, they can't wait to see how I respond <laughs> to the cold.
Yeah, we are already planning the follow-up story for February sometime. <laughs> now, the Hernandez family is not alone. The Sioux Falls School District says they did see a significant increase in the number of out-of-state hires this summer. You can read that full report with this story on Kelloland.com.